You like the digital product ideas so much. I am back 44 ideas for digital products that you can start today. And yes, they are for every industry. Even if you don't think so, get your pen, get your paper so you can start brainstorming, okay? We know ebooks, online courses, webinars and masterclasses. Number four, digital art. This is something that I honestly didn't even know it was a thing, but this is perfect for like teachers. Think about going into Canva, printouts for the kids. And recently I went into Canva. They had a whole bunch. Malia's activities, that's literally a perfect thing for you. Even if you're not a teacher, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom, you want to make some extra cash, this is a good idea. Number five is stock photos. Stock photos, anything that you can use for your courses, for your videos. Okay, there's actual places that you can use stock photos. You're basically getting the licensing to be able to use it as you please. What if you're a really good photographer and you know how to take photos? What if you're not a photographer and you want to sell photos of your pretty kitchen or your aesthetic office or your aesthetic hands or whatever industry you're in, you can take photos of those. Speaking of stock photos, number six is stock video, which is very popular right now. We've talked about this before, but it's literally if you're aesthetic and you're pouring something super cute, people need that. So many Faceless accounts are popping up out of literally everywhere. You should take advantage. Go sell your aesthetic stock videos. Shower, hair products, washing your hair, skin, filing your nails. If you're a nail tech, think outside the box. If you're a construction worker and you want to sell pictures of your excavator, literally you could do anything. Number seven is podcasts. This could be like for memberships too, but it could be like an additional podcast that subscribers only get access to. Number eight can be stock music. And I like to use epidemic sound. So I know there is use for it. Number nine is templates, all types of templates. My husband has the best real estate templates. If you're a consultant, you probably have really good contracts onboarding email social media manager templates any type of email start putting those into a file let's get those templates out there I have a whole bunch of templates when it comes to building your digital products business if you have no idea how I'll leave a link below for you so you can take a look at how I package them how simple they are and how you could do it number 10 is a content calendar those are pretty cool because some people like the digital version you could still put it give it to them as a PDF or a notion template or an Excel template but there's so many different ways that you can create a content calendar. 11, websites. This is something that I haven't talked about too much, but I'm currently creating websites for business owners that have zero personal brand, okay? When it comes to the online space, we're literally starting from scratch and I'm creating templates essentially for myself, but I'm creating templates for the wording on how you should introduce yourself. Not every single business owner is the same, but now I have some sort of design and template on how are we going to introduce? How are you going to say your story? How do people connect with you? Things like that. 12 is the actual design template. What is the step by step that we need to take to be able to design this website? It could be a checklist. It could be an ebook. It could be a mixture of both. Number 13, let's move on to the fitness girls, a fitness program. Do a PDF. A lot of people do it on apps now, which is way better. You can track it. 14, which is meal plans. Technically, if you're not a dietitian or a nutritionist, you can't really give meal plans, but you can give meal suggestions. Start guiding them in how they can start cooking better. Recipes, all of the food things. I still see a lot of trainers that I personally know that they still don't have that as a digital product. 15, like I said, a grocery list. 16, let's talk about money. Personal finance checklist. It could be anything that has to do with money. People my age still ask about budget, still ask about money. A lot of people that need help financially. So really quickly, when I'm talking about personal finance and things like that, if you are in that niche or you want to start helping people with personal finance, make sure that you are not giving financial advice if you are not supposed to be doing that, okay? If you're not a financial advisor, you can start. Think about the way that Dave Ramsey does his things. He's really giving you a guide, a step-by-step -step that has worked for him and people that he has worked with. Like, don't overthink this. If you're really good at budgeting, if you're really good at planning, like, what apps have you been using to be able to invest for yourself? That's what I'm talking about when it comes to like personal finance. So just wanted to give a little disclaimer and a little reminder, okay? So if you know how to budget, why not start helping people, giving them some sort of consultation or something, not financial advice, okay? Because we're going to stay compliant here, but something around that area. Speaking of checklists, you can do a meditation checklist if 
benefits for beginners. You can do a meditation tracker. 19, a digital vision board, Canva template, Notion or Excel, a vision board class as number 20, and maybe 19 and 20 could be combined. 21, you could do a photo editing tutorial. And this doesn't have to be just photographers. If you're a content creator and people are asking you, how do you make aesthetic reels? How do you make super cute photos? You can literally make an ebook or a mini class or a mini masterclass like a step one. These are the settings that I do. Screenshot the settings. This is how I take my photos in order for me to edit it better. These are the five apps that I use. And this is how I make my caption. That literally can be like a whole ebook slash masterclass. Which brings me to 22, which is presets. If you are really good at Photoshop and all of that, go sell your presets. You could do a resume template if you are bomb.com and always get hired. Do an e-commerce checklist. If you already have a store, how did you set up that store? What exactly is it that you need? A health tracker back to the fitness, wellness tracker, mindset wellness, any type of health tracker, travel checklist, whether that's like business travel or you're doing international travel, travel with kids, or maybe you. I have been fighting. Look, it's nighttime. I've been fighting with my two freaking cards and it still keeps saying full. I'm not losing this video, okay? I'm going to be traveling on my very first VIP experience business conference. I'm so excited about it, clearly. I don't want to miss anything. I need to be super prepared and I made a whole checklist to make sure. Why not use that if you are a travel influencer or a travel creator, you love to travel, use that as a checklist. 28 can be a lookbook, stylist. Let me tell you something. I go to a lot of conferences, multiple in the year. People don't know how to dress when they go to conferences. You need to tell them like what's in and out, what's professional. Anybody can dress in jeans if they want, but was professional. You can do some sort of fashion ebook, like I said, styling, but maybe it could be like of colors. What are the best ones? Scoot over. Guys, I love you that you're still with me here. I said I was going to give you 44 ideas. So let's keep going. 29, a hairstyling ebook. I actually have a healthy hair ebook. It's super cute. I'll leave the link below just so you could take a look at it. It could be how to wash, which is number 30. It could be how to wash. It could be how to style a curly hair ebook, how to reverse damage. If you are a beauty professional, you can do that into skin with so many different ideas, especially if you are a beauty girly or a beauty professional. 31 is a hair care essential or hair wash essential. 32 gadgets, like a whole Amazon list. You can make that into a checklist, but they have to give you their email so you can access that entire file. 33, we talked about content planners, but really any type of planner, a travel planner, kid planner, homeschool planner, summer planner, any type of planner is a given, any niche. 34, how to dress on a date. You are going through a single journey. I would probably need that. How to date, period. How to online date, like what to say, what not to say. What is going on in the dating world? Back to real estate. It could be some sort of home staging like DIY, home photography DIY, something that has to do with staging, which brings me to 37. Add interior design into your small apartment or your small home, your small room. 38. Find an online accountant. Sometimes we don't think that what it is that we do is important or maybe it's like, oh, everybody knows that. I promise you they don't. So maybe for you, it's like, duh, I know how to find an accountant. A lot of people don't. 39, which is how to hire your accountant. Give a whole checklist. Like what questions should we be asking accountants? What files should we be asking? Or uh, clearly I'm not an accountant, <laughs> but what, how to interview your accountant, something in that sense. 40 is how to fix your credit. A lot of people need help with that. DIY, how to fix your credit. And you can do a whole class with a checklist and ebook and course and all of the things with this one, because a lot of people need it. 41 is getting business credit. And that's something, a new journey that I've been on. Very first thing is you need to fix your personal credit. So imagine you already have an upsell right there. Get them a whole fix your personal credit. And then you can later on bring up like, hey, now let's start building your business credit. 42 is how to find or look for a therapist or perhaps even why you need therapy. 43, you can do cooking classes. How fun is that? I've seen a lot of like sourdough things out there. That seems pretty fun. I've seen it live. So 44 can be journal prompts. I know that people want this because of how many people understand the importance of journaling. And if you are a really good writer, why not create these for yourself? How cool would it be to be able to right now create journal prompts like in a PDF? And later on, perhaps create like a physical thing. But you start off with 
your digital journal prompts. And if you want to learn how to record a masterclass or a course with any of these lists that I just showed you, make sure that you click on the next video. And you know what? Thank you for still being here. Tell me in the comments if you are here. Phone's dead. Camera does not have memory. You're a real one. I love you. Let me know in the chat if you watched all two parts and all two different cameras. Bye.